Hi Capricorn, welcome to December 2017 General Tarot Reading. It's Raina here. It's funny, I was just about to say Astral Update because I did your astrology reading for December just a little while ago. And I also have a love reading for December. I've been splitting up my monthly readings into three parts. And it's a lot of fun for me because it's like I get to do different things. I don't have to combine things, and that's always good. So those are on my channel already. Okay, just shuffling the cards here. Happy birthday to those of you who are born in December. This is a general focus, as I think I said. Whoa! Good cards already. Whoa! <laughs> it was funny because I got this card. I just did Sagittarius reading and I was talking about um, addiction. Then I got the Temperance card. I got the Three of Cups in the challenging position. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at the heart of the matter here. The focus in December is the King of Cups and this is a mature man who is emotionally available. Uh, this is a person who may be actually of the uh, zodiac sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or they have a very strong water influence in their chart that makes them very compassionate. But coming from that mature perspective, that is somebody who is aware of how their emotions, you know, like people who are mature, they know themselves very well. And so they, they tend not to um, get very heated or, you know, they, they, they tend to be in control of their emotions because they're not reactionary. They um, are compassionate to enough to know when people are having a bad day or they're going through things that they don't personally react to everything but they are very compassionate towards other people in general and this person could be anyone in your life now the kings can be fathers so um, whether or not this father is in your life um, or whether he has crossed over and you feel his presence or you're thinking about him if if you share the same birthday month as him or because it's the holidays could be the father of your child in the past position or maybe if you're a man you want to be a father and you have a very um kind of a caring demeanor in the past position we have the sun sign so this definitely could be um some kind of situation of falling in love and conceiving a child um, the sun card can mean children and it can also mean um, falling in love or maybe both and the person could be with a Leo I mean it could be a Leo um, and because Leo and Cancer are next to each other maybe this person is Leo and Cancer in some of these points um, <laughs> a Capricorn, uh, Cancer is the opposite sign of you. So if somebody is a Cancer, that can be a good influence for you. If they're a Leo, uh, Sun sign, that might be a little bit more challenging because your basic natures are wildly different. But obviously the individual charts have to be looked at to see if there are more uh, points of attraction because a lot of times you will see that in a chart in an individual chart and what is here for you now is the six of wands which is a card of victory of uh, well it's a card of um, being recognized for your talents uh, by the way the ki the king of cups could be a boss who is very compassionate and really May may have you may have a deep connection with this person.
because and they could be like a second father to you and they may be kind of uh, partially responsible for your success because they're your mentor something along those lines and uh, <laughs> unless you're romantically involved with your boss it's funny I get here as the higher message the queen of wands so we get the king and the queen so that could be the father and the mother but this woman is connected to fire energy and um, this is one of these cards that you know she's holding a sunflower which the sun is connected to Leo is the ruler of Leo and the Leo is a fire sign but it's I think this card is connected to Sagittarius so it's one of those weird things but in any case any kind of fire energy, feminine energy, like a female, um, aggressive, assertive person who is career-minded, could that be an aspect of you? Of course it could, because Capricorn is a sign that craves recognition and success. So the Six of Wands definitely is something that you're looking for. The Queen of Wands could be a part of you that has been activated because of the success. Maybe you've gained in confidence. And that has been really great because you feel like you have mastery over your life. The Queen and the King are symbols of mastery. And um, with the Queen, there's an inner quality that's being um, mastered okay so uh, with fire we're talking about that sense of self-esteem but it's not just dependent on your worldly achievements but also just this inner unshakable feeling of confidence that has been generated and if you have fallen in love that could also have, you know, given you more of a feeling of being appreciated and that has helped your success as well. What crosses you is represented by the Three of Cups. Now this could mean either that there is somebody, maybe this is a water sign person, I, I, I have to go there and say Pisces because that's the one that is always accused of drinking too much who is maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, who has an addiction. Um, December has a Mercury retrograde, so you may hear back from someone from your past. Maybe they want you back, but they have problems, and you don't want to go back, and you, you're, you're a different person now. And one thing astrologically is that Capricorns have had Pluto in, their, in your sign for almost t 10 years now. Um, at the end of, what well, you know, in 2018 it will be 10 years. So you have had quite a transformation and it's not over yet. It's going to continue until 2023, but now you have Saturn going into your sign on the 19th and this is your ruler. So you're, you know, it's it's going from really good to even better. And you don't need anybody who is not um, going to help you to, um, you know, who's going to support you in your achievements. If you get diverted because somebody else's problems, that's not um, a good thing. So you are probably going to either avoid their their uh, contact if they do call or you're going to be very friendly but not necessarily interested because maybe at one time you wouldn't but now you have that confidence to be able to um, feel like like um, not dealing with them and getting suckered back into that relationship. And I think that a lot of you, it's because you've already found love. And so you're just not interested. But um, be, be prepared because somebody may 
uh, try to worm their way back into your life in some fashion. The advice, or what's coming in, is represented by the Seven of Swords. Now, this could be this person again, <clears throat> excuse me, who is um, deceptive. Sometimes it can even be stealing. Um, and if it's somebody who has an addiction, I mean, if they, if they are invited to your home, they may try to, um, they may even try to take something, uh, one of your possessions because of their addiction. But it could also simply be advice that you have to get out of a situation with an uh, ex or a some someone who is trying to get back in your good graces in a very clever way because if you are too blunt and you say something like you know I just don't want anything to do with you that could trigger them into further contact with you it's like never let somebody know that you've broken up with them and I, I love that saying because it's so true um, you have to find a way to kind of make it so that you can uh, get on with your life, but you're not rejecting them in a very um, forceful way. Because people who have low self-esteem, it hits them harder when they feel that sense of rejection, and they can't, they don't have the ability to see things clearly, if especially if they have some kind of um, addiction issues that makes them even more more vulnerable to it the outcome is this was the card that I was laughing at because I was thinking of addiction temperance is the outcome now temperance is a card you see that she's got one foot in the water and one foot on land and the water represents the spiritual part of life and the land the material you are earth signs and so the material is easy for Capricorn. The spiritual can be difficult for those Capricorns who really feel like they have something to prove. The six of wands in the upper right hand corner shows that you are being recognized. Maybe you're finally getting your um, your recognition after uh, so many years of being in the background. So you're taking your victory lap or you're, you know, <laughs> having your day in the sun. Okay. And, and by the way, the sun in the past position can indicate some kind of success that um, you, you achieved. And now it's like you're getting the um, accolades for it. And the Temperance card is about keeping on an even keel, okay? And you do that by having that sense of groundedness, which is what the earth represents, but also that spiritual dimension, which allows you to frame everything in a, in a bigger picture uh, for the long term, because like they say, you can't take it with you. You can't take your, um, your, all of the worldly achievements, all of the money, any of that. You can't take that with you. It's just the result of your actions. And so that's why it's so important to always be in alignment with your highest um, principles in every situation, even when you're on the job, because you don't want to ever uh, succumb to the temptation of uh, doing things. This is a card of being underhanded. And um, Capricorn really wants that sense of validation from the outside world. The ten, you know, you rule the 10th house, so it's the house of career, and it's um, in a very public place. And but there's a spiritual dimension. And so the temperance is about enjoying the material world, but always remembering that it is temporary. And then you can really um, make the most of it and, and live a spiritual life, 
live in the world but not of the world. <laughs> That's a better way of putting it. Okay, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, all my readings are 20% off until the end of this year, uh, 2017. The link is below for that. Otherwise, happy holidays and God bless. Bye.